We've been getting a lot of questions about our wood stove, so we decided to do a little video about it. First of all, it is a Newport Solid Fuel Heater by Dickinson Marine. Um, it's originally made for sailboats, so it's great for small spaces. Um, they also make a diesel version, but we have the solid fuel version, which can burn wood, coal, and charcoal. So before we get the fire started, we have a couple housekeeping things that we have to do. First, you want to make sure you have the correct cap on your chimney. So we'll use this travel cap when we're going to be driving on the highway. Otherwise, this is the cap we use when we're having a fire. Second, you need to make sure you've got small pieces of wood. Um, as you can see, the firebox is pretty tiny, so you can't fit a bunch in there. So you need to get your wood down into manageable sized pieces. Um, safety wise, we have our fire extinguisher close at hand right behind the stove just in case of an emergency. Uh, and then we also have back here by the bed a carbon monoxide and propane detector. So that actually will detect if you have a propane leak um, as well as if there's any carbon monoxide um, we do like that model for the dual purpose, but it does need to be plugged in. Um, so we just got a new one, which just does carbon monoxide, but it's battery operated. And we really like having the di digital display so you can see if the numbers start increasing at all. Lastly, before you start a fire, um, this wood stove does need a source of fresh air at all times. Um, so normally we'll just crack our window right across from the stove. Right now it's frozen shut because it's really cold out. Um, so we have the roof vent popped um, for right now. Normally we don't do the roof because that's where the hot air escapes out of. As far as cleanup goes with the stove, it's really easy. All the ash um, goes into the drawer below. Wow, we need to empty that. <laughs> um, so you just pull that out and throw that in the trash once it's cool. So it's really chilly today. We're gonna start a fire. It's about 39 degrees in the van right now um, at the time that we're starting the fire. When starting a fire, you want the barometric damper closed and the door open. I've got a couple sticks in there, some paper scraps that we had lying around. And I also use um, a little piece of fire starter because I don't like the dilly dally trying to get my fire going when it's cold. So we'll light it up, shut the door, and we'll let it get going. So now we've got some nice coals going. Um, and we can add some more wood in there. And at this point, if you want to keep your fire burning um, hot and quickly, you can leave the settings as they were, or you can put your door down and open up the damper up here. And that will give you a longer, slower burn. A lot of people have asked why we decided to go with a wood stove. Um, the main reason is because we do a lot of activities that involve wet gear um, and the wood stove is one of the best ways to dry our gear. As you can see, we've got some of our ski gear hanging up to dry um, up at the top of the wood stove. In addition, um, it's just really cozy having a fire. It makes it smell great in here and um, it's a really dry heat which is in contrast to some of the other heat options like propane heat creates a lot of moisture and some cons to the wood stove versus other heating options um, you have to have wood on hand at all times if you want to have a fire so you often have stacks of wood in the van um, and you have to chop it down to size that will fit into the stove you have to keep the fire stoked, so if you don't want to get up in the middle of the night, the fire will die overnight um, and it will be a little cold in the morning. You have to be present to have a fire, so 
fire. We don't really like to have a fire going if we're not in a van. Um, so that means we can't come back to a warm van after a cold day of skiing. We have to get the fire going again. The hot air does rise um, and we don't have a fan system to kind of spread out the warm air. So most of our heat um, goes up towards our bed, which is actually pretty nice. That's the warmest spot in the van. Um, but if you're doing things down in the main floor area, your feet will probably be pretty chilly. Lastly, um, you do need to have that fresh air source while the fire is burning, which means you have to leave uh, a window cracked or a vent cracked, which obviously can let cold air in when you're trying to heat up the space. It's been about 45 minutes since we started the fire. Our temperature is up to 54 degrees. So we've gone up about 15 degrees in 45 minutes, and we've only burned about six of those small little logs. If you want to know more about how we installed the stove into the van, um, you can visit our blog at mobileroamers.com. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And if you're using a wood stove in your van and have any other tips for us, please let us know.